Hi, my name's John. Welcome to part 6 in a series of short videos all about the metal turning lathe. In tonight's episode, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate the use of drills, how you drill holes on a lathe. To drill holes on a metal turning lathe, we use this thing here, which is called a tailstock. The tailstock is perfectly in line with the wheels of the lathe, and it is dead on centre height, in theory. So we put in here a drill chuck. Drill chuck goes in there. You put your drill in there, there's a hand on the back you turn, that pushes the barrel forward and that pushes the drill into the workpiece. There's several different types of chuck you can use, that's a old fashioned Jacobs chuck, that's a more modern I suppose, Kalish chuck. This one here is a collar chuck that I use for holding taps when I'm putting threads in, but you could also hold a drill in there as well. That's a centre drill hole that I made. That's what starts off your hole in the workpiece. There's a counter sink there, once again, in a homemade holder. Bigger counter sink, in a bigger one again. The taper in this tailstock is most taper 3, some layers are more steep or two, depending on how big the lathe is, a bigger lathe will be more steep or four. So we have an adapter to go from the more steep or three down to the more steep or two, so we can put that drill directly into there and that gives a much stronger, stiffer drive than using a chuck. You can also get one more steep or drill, really small ones, that goes into a one the three adapter just the same. I've got a big drill here, that's the biggest drill I've got, that's inch and a half. That goes straight into there and that is for really removing large amounts of metal very quickly. It's important you take care of this in here, you don't want to allow the drills to spin, you've got to keep it clean. Some people actually put a cork in there to keep any shite out. Uh, but it's important that you keep it clean. So you can basically go from that size to that size. I think that's sixteenth of an inch to inch and a half. So the tailstock moves up the wheels like that and can be locked off with that lever. That lever on the top is to lock the barrel if you had a centre support in there. I've got a piece of metal steel bar here. We'll put that in the chuck and just use that to do a little bit of drilling on. I'm going to face the end first just so we've got a nice smooth surface to work at. The first operation is to put a starter hole in with a centre drill. A little bit of lubricant won't do any harm. It's important that when you face the end of the bar off, that it's faced off completely. There's no little pip left in the centre because these centre drills love to snap. Feed it in nice and gently. Nice even pressure. So we've got, we've got a hole, a guide hole, for the next size drill to go into. It's also used as a point like that to put in a rotating steady or a, a tail stock steady, which we'll be going to discuss in a later video. As you wind back the tail stock, it automatically ejects the tool that's in there. Next, I'm going to put in a small chuck. That's all it takes, I lock it into the taper, we'll put a drill in there and carry on drilling the hole. Basically the same rule applies to drilling holes on a lathe as it does on a drill bench press. The smaller the drill, the faster you go. A little bit of lube. A 
gentle pressure. And you can see how the drill is clearing the swarf quite nicely. You've got to be careful you don't go too deep. It pays you to keep retracting the drill, put more cut and paste on. That drill is doing a splendid job of putting a hole in there. Next I'm going to use a taper shank drill, that's a one more taper, so we need a one to two adapter and then a two to three adapter and that will then go into there. If you look at the swarf that's coming off that drill, it's different on each side of the drill. The drill's cutting alright, but it's not sharpened correctly. Swarm should be the same off each side. This time I'm going to use a more safe tool drill, so that goes into my two to three adapter, and that locks into there like that. Once again, well, that's quite a big drill, so I'm going to slower than it is down like here. Now it's spin at 130 rpm. You notice the swarf there is the same on both sides of the drill because it's a brand new back and start with the The smoke are coming off isn't because of things mad hot, it's not that hot, it's just a sort of cutting lubricant I use puts a lot of smoke out. And that's what you're looking for. Uniform swarf off both sides of the drill. Next I'll put in a counter sink tool. These tools take me run nice and slow. So I've slowed the lathe down to 65 RPM. And that makes a really nice job of finishing the end of the hole off. If you want a really accurate hole, that's a 10mm roll pin. If you wanted an exact 10mm hole, you wouldn't use a 10mm drill you'd use a 10mm ruler. So that is a 9.8mm drill, we'll drill it out with that and then put the reamer through and that will give you the perfect size for that dull pin to go into. It could be a model engine you're making, it's got a pump bore or an axle bearing. So I'll find a bit of scrap, we'll drill it out and we'll put the reamer through and see what sort of fit we're going to achieve using the reamer. Right, I found something in the scrap bin that'll It'll do for what we want. First job is to face the end, obviously get shot of the little the little pip on the end of it. Steel, you can tell the way it's turning, it's what well, I would class as chewy. Right, so the first operation is the centre drill. Got a four mil drill. As I 
you're pushing the drill through, you can feel how it's cutting. And you keep observing the swarf to make sure it keeps clearing from the hole. It does no harm at all to bring it out. A little bit more. Put lubricant on there and then back in again. We want to go all the way through, but what I will do is put a bigger drill through to the depth of that one and then finish off with this one, otherwise you'll run into problems with swarf build up. Once you've got a hole all the way through, it makes things a lot easier. Next is the 9.8mm drill. So the pin won't go in there because it's on two under size. This reamer is parallel shank reamer, what they call a hand reamer. I've got some with tapers on that you can put into, into most taper, but this will work perfectly alright if it's held in the Jacob's chuck. Reamers need to be run nice and slow. And you only ever go forward of the remark, you never turn the remark backwards. So we've got this down to 60 RPM, that should be alright. Gently feed it in. And you hear it starting to cut there. If we back it out, you can see got a small amount of swarf on where it's doing its job. through the job. So now the 10 mil roll pin is an absolute spot on fit in there as we would say that's just the dog's bollocks. So basically, it's what you call a pop fit. Make a little popping noise. I hope you picked up one or two little tips from that short demonstration of how you drill holes on a lathe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hi, my name's John. Welcome to part six in the series all about what's it about again? You fucking oof.